the pastors here at Clemens Moravian Church. And the Daily Compass is a short meditation that I publish every Wednesday morning. And uh, we are, are glad that you've joined us today. I hope that you'll find some encouragement in these words. I'm reading from the Gospel of Luke from the New Living Translation. And the context is that as Jesus uh, spoke and taught throughout uh, the region, uh, that many people were coming to hear what he had to say and were very excited and enthusiastic about uh, some of the insights that he was bringing to them about faith and life. And they were enthusiastic to the point that they were ready to kind of just join him and follow him wherever you know he, he would lead. But Jesus was cautious because he understood that people make promises oftentimes not really thinking about what they're saying. So in Luke 14, he says this, a large crowd was following Jesus. He turned around and said to them, if you want to be my disciples, don't begin until you count the cost, for salt is good for seasoning, but if it loses its flavor, how do you make it salty again? You know, commitment, or at least some type of promise is never really the problem in life Rather, it seems to be the volume and the duration and the magnitude of the undertaking that causes us to pause. We are willing, it seems, to, to give ourselves in bits and pieces to things and all kinds of stuff, but to give one's all is, well, another story, especially if giving one's all involves the heart. The Lord of life recognized our impulsive nature, it seems, and, and wanted anything but that kind of response. The Alpha and Omega simply desires more of his children. He desires more of us. It is certainly the most principled decision one would ever make in one's existence to follow him. Yet it is the pledge that triumphs over all. It is the heart returning towards it, its source. Will we trust it? I pray that you have a blessed day today. I pray that as we think about following the Lord, that we understand more clearly that he wants everything, every piece of us to be with him. In Jesus' name, amen.